Welcome to our $1,000 sit and go. This is the second one we've run here on Poker Time. We're really excited. We've got some new players we're, we want to show you. Yes, one of them that we want to show you is Brandon Cantu, who you have seen play the cash game, but this is a sit and go format. He might play a little bit differently. We also have Jake returning, who won the first sit and go for $5,000. Yep, $5,000 remains for first, $2,000 for second, and $1,000 for third. We have eight players total. A few other new players as well, though, not just Brandon Cantu. We also have Marty, TJ, and Liz, so we're excited to see how they play. They're all going to be vying for that five k and a $100 free nitrogen sports bet for first place, so that's pretty exciting stuff. Let's shuffle up and deal. It's a brand new 1K sit and go. We've got some new players here as well, Grant. There's Liz, first time player on Poker Time. Yep, you know Joseph, you know Terminator, you know Jake over there on the right. Joseph's going to have the the pocket sevens on the first hand. He's Whoa. just going to fold, wow. continuing what he was doing in the last sit and go. So tight. Did everybody already oh, fold? It looks like there was oh, a missed there, deal. Oh, that's what it was. Never mind. Oh, my goodness. We started off with a missed deal. How exciting, though, a missed deal on the first hand. What else? What other crazy mischievous things might happen? It makes more happen? sense why Joseph would fold the sevens. <laughs> yeah. For, we also have a couple new other new players besides Liz. So far, you've just seen Liz. We also have Brandon Cantu, who has not played the sitting goal before. He has Correct. played our 5-10 game. Yep. We also have, uh, you're going to see him coming up pretty soon as TJ. He's going to be acting. There he is. TJ in the middle of the screen there. Cantu on the right. That's, of course, Jake. You all know Jake in his famous pink sheep shirt. Jake, who won the first sit and go for $5,000. And there's Marty sitting the between there. Digital Dan and the Terminator. Marty with the real hand. All wearing, wearing very dark clothing here. It's true. Super dark. Marty's like going to win the first hand. He just raises and takes it. I guess so. it's not really the first hand, technically. Whoa. Did you see that? He made it 550. This guy's going to be a live wire. It's 5,100. Yeah. Yes, Marty's definitely going to be a live wire for sure. He plays unconventionally, I'm going to say. Yeah. Those are the words I'm going to choose. Plays a lot of hands. A lot of hands. Plays uh, sizes differently than a lot of players as well. Some might say he makes Terminator and Action Aaron look like tight players. Yeah, some <laughs> might say that. It's true. Liz is already folded. And it looks like this whole side of the table is already folded. There we go. We caught up. Marty once again with a reasonable hand, and that is not a small raise either. Oh, it looks like it's at least 400. Yep, minimum 400, maybe more. 500. And that's going to – he's two for two, so I guess it's working. Yeah, man, if he was a pitcher, he'd be uh, – we'd already be talking about maybe he's this kid's an all-star, you know, 2-0. <laughs> oh. Although there are no antis to win, so, you know, it's not so exciting. No, it's true. It's true. But no resistance, always nice. This, like our previous Nitrogen Sports Sit and Go, has a $100 Nitrogen Sports bet that goes along with winning the tournament for 5000 That's correct. Third place is one k You get your money back. Second place is 2 k First place, of course, 5000 Smackers. thought I already said that. I'm just saying it again because it's awesome. Smackers. Yeah, you didn't say Smackers anyway. Cantu says, nah. Digital Dan. Here we go, the digital one. Let's get involved. Now, the question is, is Marty just going to... Well, Marty's not going to fold. We can see that. Nine eight spades. It's a reasonable hand to call with, or even three bet with. Looks like a three bet to eight hundred. So far, Marty only takes aggressive actions. Yep. Although he's had reasonable hands in his positions every time. This is, by the way, a very reasonable fold for Digital Dan here with King Jack off, and he does let it go. Yep. Marty three and zero now, but the problem, of course, he shows a nine of spades. The problem, of course, is he has won very few chips. Terminator is sad, maybe. Terminator might prefer Marty on his left to his right because Terminator wants to play so many hands, and yeah. Marty's going to force him out of those hands by raising big before Terminator gets to act. It does change Terminator's strategy significantly. Although if Terminator, if Marty was on Terminator's left, I imagine Marty would be calling a lot of Terminator's bets, which Terminator may not love either. All right, we got Cantu in action here, making the 225. Marty Different calls. sizing than, he chooses, than Marty chooses. Marty with another reasonable hand. Yeah. Terminator calls as well with the Queen-10. Liz, we're going to get to see her play for the first time here. Liz, who wants all of us to keep calm. Yes. Apparently that's very important to her. Is there, or that says so on the shirt? Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't wear it on your shirt unless it was vital to you. And Liz flops top full house. I mean, that's pretty good. First time to V-pip on poker time. Only problem is no one else has anything. Let's see if anyone takes any shots here. Well, Marty's in the hand. There we go. So luckily for Liz, Marty's in the hand. 
He's not going to let this one go through. And he bets 1K. He bets almost pot. What, what an incredible spot already for Liz. I think you have to just call because Marty's so bluffy if she knows anything yeah. about Marty. I agree. Even though there's going to be some cards that will kill action, you got to give Marty a chance to keep firing here. Well, now he can wrap 5-6 if he wants to. Liz would be happy with that. Liz really wishes he does have 5-6. And she checks quickly. He's already betting. 1.6, a much smaller bet size this time. If you're Liz, you're thinking, do I want to raise or do I want to call? So tempting to raise here. And I we know. can see the cards and know that would be a bad idea. Yep. And she does raise. It looks like a very small raise to 3,500. Marty's not going to be able to continue here. And he lets it go. That's a pretty big pot. Yeah. Marty just decided to rep a seven there. And uh, doesn't work when they have top full house. No. I think that's Zebo's theorem. They don't fold top full house. Mm. That's actually not Zebo's theorem, but it's close. Z Zebo's like theorem. Zach Randolph, Zebo. <laughs> no, it's spelled differently. Z e e b o, not Z hyphen bo. In case you're wondering. I wasn't. I felt like you were though. Anyway, Cantu's got a hand. He's gonna play this one, I assume. Raise two hundred. Min raise. I guess Cantu is thinking there's not much to win out there, so what does it matter if I make it more? But you there's know, not, you can make a bigger pot and win more later if you make true. it 300. But there's not much fold equity either way. Yeah. And you know, I, hold on, is it? Look at Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Marty's playing every hand so far. Now this is the first non-reasonable showing, right. I would say. Like everything else, you would, I think most people would have played. All right, so we've got top pair for TJ. Made a reasonable call to the big blind there. Cantu has two overs shot. with a gut shot. Dan with That's the it. pair and Marty with nothing. Marty checks it back this time. He learned his lesson from the last hand, I would say. That's a good card for TJ. Let's see if he, yeah, if he decides, all right, time to bet. I assume this is just going to end things. Although Digital Dan could make a call, but it seems a little optimistic to me. If it was a spade, uh, of course, a four can't be a spade there, but Cantu might consider calling on a spade on the yeah. turn. And it looks like that's going to be a TJ is just going to take the best hand and go on home. Get out of here. It seems like he's staying. There. Well, I'm saying he looks like he. I didn't say he was doing it. It just looks like it. And you can't see, really, because the camera's blocking our view from what, what he's actually doing. You see? Does that, does that make sense? It does to me. And I'm sure at least 12% of the listeners understand it and viewers understand what I'm saying. 12% interesting number. That's all I'm going for. Me and the, me and the 12%. You can have the other 88. <laughs> All right, I got it. I'll take it. Here's Terminator. Finally, Marty doesn't play a hand, so Terminator gets to open five wow. deuce. He's obviously frustrated with Marty playing every hand. It does seem like it. It does seem like it. See, Cantu does have enough to defend it. It's a pretty cheap open, although there's no antis, and you don't really have to defend light yet. There's no real need to. I assume Cantu would have something reasonable here. Terminator quickly checks back. Huh. It's a bit of a surprise. Well, you could be repping a queen, I guess, and check back. Or a king. Now he's going to take a shot. Looks like he bet. Well, he said, did he say something? 350. Cantu has yet to fold. All right, so Cantu could have a lot of things if he calls here. He could have a diamond draw. He could have ace high. He could have a king. He could have a queen. He'd probably bet kings and queens on the turn a lot, though. I think he'd bet diamond draws a lot on the turn also. He might not bet a king on the turn. Maybe he has something like ace 10. Yeah, he could have ace 10. Let's see if Terminator gives up or takes. Terminator's not going to give up, it looks like. 700. I like this. If you're going to have five deuce and open it, you really can't only take well, one it's shot. It's not going to work. Nope. I guess we're going to get to find out what Cantu has here. King Jack or something like looks that? Looks like a king, yeah. King, king 10. 10. Yeah, easy way to play that for Cantu. Just check, check, check. Hope he bluffs, and that's what happened. It is the Terminator. Yep. Cantu he, gets max value that way, too. The Terminator will not stop until you are dead or he is he's, dead. He's dead. Or some, at least someone dies. Yeah. And, you know, considering the stats, you know, in the world where it you know, was like seven and a half billion people, there are people dying every second. Lots and lots of people. Are you so sure? Terminator can stop whenever like he wants. just at night. Oh, you know what? I have to look. Let me, go, let me pull up my almanac and look that up. Okay. <laughs> I'll get back it's to like that. Encyclopedia Britannica under yeah. death. <laughs> <laughs> night death, I think. It's under N for night death. So there is day death. I don't know, but there's night death. Well... We're getting it's a nice good look at these guys. Band, but we got to take a look at Jake's scarf. He's sad because scarf corner has dissolved. Jake, once, a wearing, once again wearing that sweater. Well, it did eventually get back to where uh, Brandon Cantu is. It looks like we're giving a walk, probably. 
Yeah, I think yeah, we are giving it up. It is a walk for oh, digital. No, Marty, oh, no, Marty raised. That's what happened. Looks like we're having a couple technical Oh, you know what? It had, digital Dan is under the gun, but he wasn't. So I think there was some issues there. And digital Dan wearing the 42 shirt, which I'm going to guess is a reference not to Jackie Robinson, but to... Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Yeah, Galaxy. Douglas Adams. That's my guess, because I've seen him with other 42 <laughs> shirts that were clearly Douglas Adams reference. Although maybe he's into all sorts of 42 Well, usually shirts. if you're going to wear a Jackie Robinson 42, it's going to have some sort of sports-related theme to it. I mean... You know, like it'll be like a baseball jersey, yeah. or maybe you'll have like a picture of him sliding in on a six side into home base. You know what I'm saying? Home plate. Home home base. <laughs> It'd be home plate. Here's Terminator. Let's see if we can follow the action this time. He's going to fold, and yes... Nice to see the cameraman back in action. This is going to let it go. Jake hasn't played a hand. And down well, to the blinds. Jake's just reveling in his 5K win. He's just sitting there enjoying it. Mm -hmm. You know, That was interesting. You see, Digital Dan was thinking about what to do, and Marty was already pulling out the what looked like raising chips. Dan just gave him a walk with his 10-7 off. Marty shows the ace. Good job by Digital Dan to notice that Marty was probably not going to just let him see a flop for free. And I mean, that could be an angle him. also. But oh, yeah. knowing Marty, he probably is going to raise. Oh, I would fully expect him to raise there. It's not really an angle, by the way. It's just deception, right? Yeah. If you just like look like you're going to raise. Angles are a form of deception, are they not? I guess they are. You're right. But angle makes it sound like there's something sort of uncouth about it or it's unethical. A it's a bit of an angle. It's a slight angle, right? To like fumble with your chip yeah. when it's not your action as if you're going to take an aggressive action. I guess you're right. I guess, I guess that's fair. Digital Dan does not have 10-7 off in the small blind. That's what he had last time. And as you can see, we're having a little technical issue here. We're just going to have to get that other hand put in. Live poker, you know? It's good times. Yeah. Joseph looks like he's going to rip someone's head off <laughs> if this takes any longer. Wow. He wants to play. He looks like he's so... He's just holding it in. Like he's Edward Norton in the Hulk, you know? You won't like there him when we he's go. angry. He was waiting to raise. That's why. Now he gets to raise. It's the ace four. <laughs> Joseph, you play so tight. It's suited, though. Yeah, it is. Jake finally found a hand he likes. Just as the 1-2 game is popping off back there, you can hear those guys having a good time. Digital Dan, I would expect he's going to fold it, but this is... You could decide to call. He's going to, I guess. Marty never folding. We know that. How could Terminator found a fold. Must have been pretty, pretty bad. I'm going to go with 8-3 off. We saw it. It was 10 deuce off. Well, I well was close. Done. I was close. We know everyone but Jake's hand here. That's a good flop for Joseph, assuming Jake doesn't also have an ace. It is hard to get value, though, as Joseph. Yeah, I expect a check here. Now he's going to bet. Well, there's no flush draws. I think I might prefer a check because of that. Here's the thing. If Jake doesn't fold, you immediately have to start worrying as Joseph. Well, now you don't have to worry about anything because we can see the cards. Yeah. I guess that's a spot that if Marty continues in the hand in any way, you can't fold. Like yeah, if Marty raises, doesn't oh, yeah. matter that you're not beating any value. No, you just hold on and find out which one of you is doubled up and which one of you is out of the tournament. Yeah, I pretty think much. that's the move. So it makes these little singos fun, you know? Things can happen very quickly. There sometimes isn't a settling in period the way there is in a tournament where you have more blinds and a slower, everything's slower, you know? Yeah. Which yeah. I like. I like this. No we know one of the players at this table is going to win the 5K. There's no waiting around for other people to bust or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. And here's Jake with a hand that he is willing to play. Even Jake likes this one. This is in the raising range for Jake. Plus Although five. we did see him open it up in the last... We absolutely did. No, no, I know. We're making fun of him, but actually Jake... I think Jake played extraordinarily well in the last game, which, which he did win, but I... But hey, look at this. Marty has a real hand, and somehow he just called. This is unbelievable. How lucky is Marty that somehow the buttons in his head decided to press call with Ace wow. King when he's three betting 8-9 suited. I got to believe Jake would have put in a big four bet, and I got to believe Marty would have at least called that four bet. Yeah. Wow, this Marty is really might something. just dodge a bullet here. Yeah, yeah. he's going to dodge the bullet. Wow. Wow, that is really extraordinary. Marty actually has the backdoor flush draw if it checks through here. Let's see if Jake decides to bet or not. I imagine Jake's going to check some of the time on this yeah. board, but he looks like he's betting. It's a bit of a precarious spot with two aces. I mean, he may be wanting to give Marty Marty's a chance. Marty's not folding, by the wow. way. Just calling. Wow. How about that? Well, now, if a diamond comes, it gets interesting. This becomes tricky because Marty's a guy who really doesn't have to have it, and as we can see, he doesn't. Oh, man, this is a really bad card for Jake, too. Marty does not have to have it, though. Marty can have queen 10. Marty can have diamonds. Well, he's going to rep it. I, I kind of like Marty betting here. Oh, absolutely. He can. He could bet a nine here, and he could also bet a jack. He bets big. He bets about pot there. Almost pot. I wonder if Jake's spidey senses are going off or he just doesn't want to get involved. Seems a little too soon against Marty to ever fold, though, right? Even I know, though but against a lot of players, you got to fold there. Yep. A lot of players are going to check back. 
a lot of things there. Queen of Clubs doesn't shouldn't be too. You're losing eight ten, but you don't think eight ten would really bet very often. King ten won't bet the river. Let's see if Marty takes a shot here or if he decides to give up. It looks like a give up face to me. It does. We haven't seen him really give up yet though. And he does. He thinks, well, I can still chop. I can chop with sometimes. diamond draws, and maybe even beat some diamond draws. Yeah, maybe a few. Not. It's hard to come up with really any yeah. diamond draws you can beat. If Jake would have played. It's though. a nice hold on by Jake on the turn. He knows his opponent. Jake's not calling with a diamond draw on the turn anyway. No, I don't think so. Unless it's the, unless it's the nut flush draw. And even that is only a maybe. But he can at least chop with other races. I think Jake would have folded against Digital Dan. Oh yeah, there. I think so. I think so. That was an interesting little hand to play. Jake got to chip up a bit once again. Seems like Jake always has all the chips in these things. Well, so far, that's the record he has of having all the chips. So that's my point. Brandon Cantu. Brandon Cantu, of course, two World Series of Poker bracelets, a WPT title as well. Definitely got the best resume of anyone at this table. And Marty's going to call, obviously. Marty with a reasonable calling hand, yeah. at least. I mean... 60 blinds, it's okay. Yeah, it's definitely okay. It's just Marty would call with hands that aren't okay, too. So yeah. it's nice when he has one. He's mostly had reasonable calling hands. Yeah. I think there's only one hand he played where it was the queen five off, right? Queen five off, yeah. That's it. Everything else is completely I agree. reasonable. Six, six, five. Terminator. That's a huge flop, but nobody else really has anything unless Liz makes a straight, which won't be to the Terminator's liking. i got to imagine he's going to bet. You don't want to dissatisfy the Terminator because he will murder you. Well, yeah, I, no one wants to get murdered. Liz, thinking about it, but I don't say she can call with two people behind her. She could raise. I think it's a pretty cool play to raise here. When yeah. you, I mean, obviously, it's not going to work against Terminator in this spot, no. but Terminator is a wide player. He's going to have a lot of hands. Liz has a gut shot that could improve her hand, make her win against value hands, and she can rep a six very well from her position. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, Marty is... Did Marty just race? He, he called. He has two back doors. Wow. Wow. Wow, seven of spades would be fun. That is not. Well, I can't imagine Marty's. Maybe Marty has a plan. I mean, Terminator's betting again. Marty is pretty short, and yeah, he Marty, just gives up. Marty, I guess, wanted to, was hoping Terminator was going to check back the turn, and then Marty thought he could maybe take it away. I'm not sure if Marty's going to be able to get Terminator off even a five there, though. Terminator checks back the turn. I think he's calm with a lot of fives on the river. Yeah. Assuming, assuming safe rivers. Like, if a seven or an eight comes, maybe he won't call, but otherwise, I think he probably will. The problem for a guy like Marty is that once people see you show up with weird hands a couple times, it's going to be hard to do your creative plays that you want to do. Yeah. And Marty, by the way, the one time he showed a card is he showed, he three bet Digital Dan and showed a nine. So he's sort of like reinforcing his, that image of craziness anyway, which he probably doesn't need to do, <laughs> especially probably if he's going to play that way. Terminator. Marty folded, so Terminator's opening. This is a almost reasonable open in the cutoff, though. It's a little early without antes, I would yeah. say, but but I agree. He does make a 400, though, and it's not going to work because Joseph has two eights. It's not going to work yet. It may work uh, post-flop, though. It may. Oh, this is interesting. Liz hasn't folded her king nine off yet. Well, she knows Terminator's a wide opener. She knows yeah. Joseph's on the button. Whoa. Ooh, well, good fold, Liz. Yeah, I assumed Liz was thinking about three betting or folding. Wow, what only. a charmed life Jake lives. He just wins 5K in the last sit and go. Now he gets aces and kings like in the first orbit. Well, you don't really want to get him this early in it, really. Though. Yeah, I don't want later. those at all. I'm just Liz saying. hands are bad. I hate those hands. I never won with them. <laughs> You're a super fun guy to be around. Um, the problem is, so like put in the three bet. Jake's often... I, I don't even know what Joseph's going to do. Remember how tight Joseph has played? Yeah, but his Joseph stack's should be risk. calling. His stack is not a risk here. I agree, and he's, he's going to have the implied odds to call. <laughs> Joseph no longer looks like he wants to rip someone's head off, which is great for the table. <laughs> but I, I feel like Joseph's talking so much, he's, he's doing the talk. But yeah, that's the folding talk. That's what I thought. Well, he was right. Jake, you going to show him? Nah. Saying, wouldn't Jake prefer to have that like in level six, where he's when so many more chips when you put in the three back grant? You mean level six when he's like four hours closer to death than he was now, but also four hours closer to winning the sit and go? Oh, that's true. <laughs> so it's so it's a toss up, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> TJ in the big blind, looking like uh, disheveled Order of the Jedi. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. Look. Only two a little bit. Marty. Marty. Is that a limp? Nope. Nope, it's right. But he sized it down. Yeah. He decided his stack is too small to make it nine million anymore. He also may just be seeing what the typical raise size is at this table. And now TJ is going to play finally. Definitely going to play. I think, probably he, probably three I think he should be through betting this yeah, when Marty's so. opening so wide and Terminator just calls. Marty might just shove out of frustration. Yeah. It's know? actually unlucky for TJ that... Um, I don't know what's unlucky about this at all. There's yeah, what's, unlucky explain about what's this. unlucky. Oh, I was going to say, oh, I got it now. I forgot for a second. That they have his hands even as good as they do. That Terminator even has ace jack. Oh, These two guys are often going to have way worse hands than this. Or at least they share an ace. That's true. You don't mind having 67%. I got to assume Marty's just going to throw this one away. I don't think he knows it's on him. The way he's looking around yeah. is as if he doesn't know it's on him. Yeah, I don't know what he thinks is happening, though. Maybe he thinks this is a counterclockwise table where Terminator has to act before him. Still thinking, but I don't think he's He for sure doesn't know it's on. Well, this is great TV. I think so. We get to see what Marty looks like when he's waiting to act. <laughs> <laughs> Terminator. Terminator now looking at Marty like, what's wrong with this guy? What's going to happen eventually? He's going to get there. Somebody say something. Doesn't seem like anyone's saying anything. They're trying to be respectful? I guess. Wow, Marty really clearly has no idea. Look at that. He clearly has no sense it's on him. I think people think he's considering shoving. I think that's why they're giving him respect yeah. here, because he's, he's lost every pot he's played, and yeah. he's, it's like he's considering shoving. This is kind of funny. Um, so little little tip, guys. If it looks like the person doesn't know it's on them, they usually don't know it's on them. Yeah. So once in a while, they do. And you tell them, and they say, I know. And they make you feel a little dumb. But it really does save a lot of time just to tell the player. If you're, I do if you're wonder sure. what Marty thinks is going on right now. Though. I mean, there's nothing to wait for. Dan is looking at him like he realizes it. Oh, he just, he just got just found news. out. <laughs> and he called. Oh, wow. Terminator, though, clearly had a lot of time to figure out what he wanted to do. He calls as well. Marty did call. I'm sure he would have done that quite quickly had he known it was on him. <laughs> This is shaping up as an interesting spot. Marty has less than two times the pot behind at this point. If he flops anything, he may just have to go with it. Well, he flopped a gut shot. Gut shot and an overcard? I don't know if that counts as anything or not. I don't think once once TJ bets, it counts as having anything. TJ bets, it's like 1,700. Well, it's all in our fold here for Marty. And he's going to let it go. And there's no way Terminator's going to continue. I can't believe. I don't believe. I will not believe. You refuse to believe? I am not going to even consider believing that Terminator's going to continue, even though he seems to be considering. He shows a jack. Oh, we, we are playing Wild West Poker That's Rules. That's right. It means you can talk about your hand when your head's up, and you can show cards, any amount of cards that you want. So Terminator's trying to get a read on TJ by showing a jack. This is interesting. TJ is so happy to see a jack, by the way. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm guaranteed to be ahead. I'm always ahead right now. Terminator reaching for chips. He's making a play. He raises he it. He calls. Oh, he calls it. I thought it was more than that. But still, how about this? And he, he shows a jack and calls. And, and TJ has two queens. <laughs> it's amazing. This is incredible. Unless he has jack three, you got him, TJ, and you, you got to know it. Yeah, but then they didn't know what to do. So I guess Terminator's trying to say I have pocket jacks. I guess. He's just messing with the rules. He heard about the rules. He's like, I mean, how am I going to manipulate cool. this game? Yeah. Terminator can't really be thinking about raising here, right? It's most of his stack to raise. There's no way. It'd be, there's no way. It's most of TJ's stack to raise as well. I mean, showing a jack is maybe better than showing an ace because you don't you expect him to have pocket aces ever. Yeah. Maybe he could play pocket jacks like this. Yeah, that's true. What an incredible thing to show him a card to show that he's drawn dead. Or effectively drawing yeah. dead on the turn anyway. And I guess he isn't really. We don't know. He could have cards on there where he isn't drawing dead. But he could have two jacks. He could have jack three. See, now what is Terminator doing here, though? He's trying to decide, should, can I move in or not, I guess, right? Yeah, that, I think that so. That has to be what he's thinking about. I think that is. Can I get this guy to fold ace king? No, it turns out TJ does not have ace king. And yeah.
Nice pot for TJ there. Yep. Yeah, we're back, and TJ gets to win with Terminator showing the jack, which is crazy weird and crazy fun. Very interesting. I hope there's more of that as we go along. You know, you can well, as soon as your head's up, you can t say whatever you want. You can expose one or both your cards if you want. It's a weird. It, it creates some weird spots, spots you don't normally see, which we love, and uh, throw everyone off a little bit. Pretty hand for Digital Dan, but he is under the gun. Going to limp, it looks like. Those are green chips, I believe. Yep. This is the first limp we've had, I believe. Well, he doesn't like the 9-6 off. Showing some standards. If there's a time to limp in a tournament, it's probably this level. Mm. Liz is going to get a little frisky here with the queen nine off. I mean, yes, that's ambitious against Digital Dan's under the gun range. Well, he is limping, and she may think that he's not. She may not know that he limps things like queens and aces and kings. But we know he can do that. Yep. If she doesn't, if she thinks she can eliminate all those all those hands from his range, she's just trying to isolate him in position. Well, that's an interesting flop. Yes. Up and down for Liz and Dan with the gut shot and the flush draw. There are ways that we could get it in here on this flop. Yeah, I agree. I wouldn't expect it, but if Dan puts in a raise right now, which is completely reasonable, if it's big enough, Liz may feel obligated to re-raise rather than and feel like she can't call. I don't know if she can go with this without a flush draw. Against Dan, especially, who's got a tighter image. You're probably right. But she's not going to fold right away if he puts in a raise. Looks like he did. Yeah, is that to 2,000? It's at least 2,000. She calls very quickly. Wow. That looks like a draw when she calls so quickly. Yeah. It well, does. nobody she's likes that card. I think she's trying to shut him down, you know, from betting yeah. on the turn by calling so quick. And it's, it just might work. That's a thing you see a lot. It doesn't shut me down. It might shut down some people. Yeah. It looks like it's not going to shut, shut down Dan. No. You bet 2,000 again? I think he's I trying to, I don't know about that bet. to see a cheap river. That's his plan now. She can move in on him now, though. If he bets more, she doesn't really have fold equity. But now she's got to believe she at least could have fold equity. Although it looks like it's a set, in fairness. <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like a set of fours or a set of... Not threes, but mostly just a set of fours. She can't really fold for this price. I guess she could. There's only one card to could. come, and she only she's has getting, six clean outs to yeah. her knowledge. She's getting three and a half to one. She's going to miss a lot. She made it, She doesn't know that a queen is good also. She would probably assume a queen isn't good. She doesn't good. know that she's currently ahead. That too. But I'm saying she could get bluffed off the river pretty easily even if she hits yeah. a queen. And what if, what if it's the king of clubs? What does she do then? She's going to have to call. Well, that's usually not a great spot if he bets again. I agree, but you can't call this. You can't call the turn, I think, and, and fold the river if you make a straight. This is a tricky spot. I think she's going to. The other thing, she, of course, she has to weigh is that she's got 12.7K in front of her still. It's a, it's a reasonably good stack. It's, we're super early. It's level one. She's got 127 blinds in front of her. She may already be thinking about preserving her stack a little bit here. What do you think? What would you do here? Well, she folds. Yeah. I think, mm, I don't know. I think I don't mind moving Dan in. Yeah. Wouldn't he Wouldn't he bet more with a set? Yeah. Like, that's such a wet or board. Or Jack 10. He would just bet more. Yeah, now, so it's easy to say that when we can see the cards. It is. It is very easy to say. But honestly, when he bets that small, it does look like he's trying to see a river cheaply with a draw. Yeah. And he's not going to get the right price with any draw if we move in there. And by the way, you know, we can get called and still win. Turns out that's clearly true against Digital Dan's hand. But. Yep. Blinds have gone up. Now 150 big blind. Cool, cool. Marty's going to play king eight under the gun. He's going to just limp it. Marty likes playing. And yeah. Terminator's going to play seven eight. So Marty's got him dominated. Marty knew that would happen. Jake with the, you know, normal hand. I'm going to say normal playable type yeah. hand. Pocket sixes. Digital Dan gets to see a free one. Digital Dan in good spirits after taking down that last one with eight high. Ace high flop here. Digital Dan flops a four. Jake has the best hand still with Can't two sixes. two flops a double gutter. So some interesting things here. Jake bets his sixes. Boy, a six on the turn would just be unreal, especially a six of nine hearts. Six yeah. of spades would be nuts for Cantu. Cantu's probably doubling up on that. Jake would have to believe he has um, effectively the nuts most of the time. I mean, he just wouldn't put Cantu on a set of aces. So, well, this is going to... It is a heart. Yeah. This would be a weird... 
Yes, this is what I was thinking. If Cantu leads here, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So Cantu basically is deciding he has one draw and he's going to rep the other one too. So either way, he thinks he gets to win a lot. And I don't see how Jake is supposed to continue now. Yeah, I mean, even with an ace, this is a bad spot for Jake because yeah. Cantu might play a flush like this. Absolutely. Because you would expect so often, especially against a player like Jake, Jake is going to check that, that turn back. Oh, yeah, for sure, unless he hit a flush. Right. So as Cantu, you might decide to bet your flush rather than let him get away with that. Like, absolutely, donking there is was, very reasonable. That was a cool play, taking the double gutter and repping the other draw in a reasonable fashion instead. I really like that. Even though you're out of position, even though you're out of flow, you just do it. And look, it works. Got Jake to fold a significantly better hand. Yeah, it and was near the bottom of Jake's range, to be it's, fair. It's true, but still, that's pretty awesome. And as we were saying, even if Jake had an ace, it was going to be a tough spot. Yep. If Cantu bets twice, I don't think Jake can hold on with one pair. No way. If Jake may decide not to even call the turn because of that. Unless he has a heart with it. And yeah. Then okay. It has to be a pretty good heart. Yeah. Terminator raising under the gun, 4Xing it. Trying to get something going here. Marty with a real hand. He's, he's all in. Get it right in there. Terminator can't fold against Marty, even though it's for it. a significant part of his stack with Ace Queen. He's right. This is going to be our get first in. race. These are 30 blind stacks, pretty much. We just got in again. Oh, and wow. Marty, right? Oh, well, we my. got a four outer here. Club on the turn. Make it fun. That is not a club. So it's a four. It's a four and nothing else. And Marty fills up, doubles up. Terminator now in last place. Marty back to a playable stack now. And, uh, yeah, Terminator and Marty... If those guys both got big stacks early on, I don't know what would happen. It would be Bedlam. Look how differently these three guys are dressed. Digital Dan, Marty, and Terminator. Like, do you mean Terminator is dressed differently than Digital Dan and Marty? I sure do. Because those two guys look like they could have gotten off the same bus. Yeah. But Terminator, that guy looks like he just got out of a BMW. <laughs> <laughs> nice jacket. He's got a scarf. Yeah. he's Scarf corner has been divided, which we did on purpose. We thought they were getting too familiar. Yeah. Way too familiar. And there's there's the rest of Scarf Corner, the other half, if you will. Scarf Corner. They pray to a picture of Fabian Quas every night. Wow, wow, Digital Dan just throws away the suited connector on the button. I think a lot of it has to do with who the two guys in, in the blinds are. And look whoa, at this. Whoa, Marty whoa. just snaps with Jack-10 for so much. What just happened? For so much, though. Oh, he raised. He raised yeah. to 1,000. And then called another 5.4 thousand with Jack is, High. This wow. is why Dan didn't open. This is exactly why. Look Dan at this flop. Wow. Well. For a second, it looked it looked like Marty had out flopped him, but <laughs> now we see Terminator flops the nuts, and that was that. Marty willing to gamble. I just like to say that about him. I definitely understand why Dan doesn't want to open four or five suited when those guys <laughs> are in the blinds. Yeah. He could have, you know, min raised. Just made 300. Holy moly, that was insane. Do you have even 1% fold equity against those two blinds if you min race? Um, yeah. You absolutely do. <laughs> 3% though? You have it like 10%. I'm not talking about against one of them. I know. Both of them. Yeah, I think you have 10%. You sure? No. no. <laughs> Terminator, Terminator's calling a lot in the big blind. <laughs> and Marty's calling a lot in the small blind. Yeah. Or raising. Well, once again, everything switches around. Marty now very short. A lot more action blinds. early on in this one than the first hit and go, which, yeah. which uh, took a little while to get any anybody's stack at risk. Let's see if Marty down to uh, yep, very he's short. Gonna Got the jack five. The jack wow. five. Wow. Joseph with a nice looking hand. Joseph could just put in a raise here, but I understand why you wouldn't. You assume nah, Marty's yeah. going to call a lot. And you can just see a flop and let Marty bet for you anyway if anything good happens. Nothing did. Nothing good happened for Marty anybody. Might, Marty might be able to win this one. He's yep. going to try. I think he will. I think he's going to get this one. It's going to be really hard for... Well, Joseph's not going to call. Terminator would have to be pretty stubborn. He's usually not this stubborn. If Marty was deeper, it would be kind of a cool two-back-door float for Joseph. Yeah. But Marty were, is not deep enough. He'd have to be very deep. Yeah. And we're not even close. And Marty bet pot. You know, if there was a raise and then Marty bet 400... Instead, so it's like you know, twelve hundred in the pot instead of four fifty in the pot. Much more reasonable to float there. Yeah, even out of position. But of course, Marty would have to have more. Yeah. Uh, cha. Whoa, was that like an audition for Clueless? A uh, cha. <laughs> cool. Thanks. 
You know why they call him Digital Dan? Uh, I would love to know. He created the game Sim Ant. Sim Ant. Yeah. Oh, really? Now for, for Macintosh. That was pre uh, the Sims or post the oh, Sims? Oh, it was pre the Sims, right around the time of Sim Tower and Sim yeah. City coming out. There was also Sim Ant. So he wasn't affiliated with Sim Tower and Sim City. No, no, he just was the Sim Ant guy. <laughs> I see. And was that a popular game? No, no, <laughs> no. Commercial so, failure, but uh, critics loved it. Why? What? So why do they call him Digital Dan if he created Sim Ant? He had to use the computer to create it digitally. I mean, is that oh. so hard to understand? But so many people use computers to create things digitally. Why would they call him Digital Dan just for that? Because of the pain he suffered as if he were computer programmed to suffer after the commercial wow. failure wow. of Simant. Liz Flop's top pair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Marty with the gutter. Digital Dan with middle pair. Terminator with bottom pair. Everyone checks. Liz has got to believe she has the best hand. Can't love that card, but... That card is going to kill action, I think. I don't know. Digital Dan has uh, second pair and an open ender. Wow, and checks it again. I don't imagine... Marty even checks. No, no he, he doesn't. doesn't. Well, why would you say Marty checks before you know? You know Marty's I thought not I saw. Check. I thought I saw his hand go into a checking motion. Yeah. That's like saying Michael Jordan missed the shot <laughs> before you know if it went in or not. <laughs> well, I would be happy to say that. I'm very comfortable saying things like that. Okay, so here we go. A lot of draws. A nine would be devastating to Marty. But instead, Liz makes trip queens. and Not a comfortable trip queens, though. No. No kicker. She's three clubs on board. She knows when it checks through, she almost always wins, but position is key there. She would have been very happy, I'm sure, for Marty to bet. Yeah. If Marty shoves his 2,000, Liz is 100% call. Yep. Dan's probably a little disappointed not to win that one after yeah. it checks through. Yeah, actually, if Marty shoves and Liz folds, Dan's probably calling for 2,000, Yeah, right? I think so. You're just going to have to. He's seen enough of Marty by now. Yeah. I know I have. I mean, good, good job. job. Which character are you auditioning for? Um, Paul Rudd. No, I'm talking about in Sim Ant. <laughs> Dan is still trying to get this drone thing viable. You know? <laughs> yes. Oh, there's still up. He's retooling the voice farm. acting. <laughs> That's interesting. Can't you going to play the Queen Jack here? Um, I would like to be drone. Wow. No, he's not. Drone six. I think that's a good fault. Yeah. It's a little too early With Marty position. there also. I think he's thinking about Marty shoving a lot. Yeah, Marty's got just the... And he makes it wow. 1,050. Marty is committed to this, it looks like. And I guess he just gets to win, but there's no antis to win there. Yeah, he wins 225. Although 225 is significant to his staff. It's weird. It, in a spot like this, with it's a tournament and there are no antis yet, and you have 2K in front of you and 10 9 suited at 150 big blind, I think you're actually just supposed to fold. Yeah. Because there's not much to be gained with a hand like that in that scenario. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Brandon can't do really taking his time putting those cards in the box. Well, he's being respectful. He knows no, I'm we glad. need to know that he has eight deuce. I appreciate that he's doing that. We Actually, all the players are doing a pretty good job getting their cards in the yeah. RFID boxes. Marty going to play this one also. This time for a limp. Marty just can't help but get involved in every hand. I mean, he has an ace. It's weird that he would raise huge with the 10 high and limp the ace high, but what do I know? I don't know. You're not in this sit and go. I'm not. I'm not. All right, Terminator's got the best hand out of the bunch here as far as playability. But no one has anything. That was a huge whiff for the world. Marty somehow has 55% equity in this. Still has the most equity. There is a gut shot on board, and Jake has another gut shot. Yep. A three makes Jake a straight. And wow. Marty ace is high. ahead with ace high somehow, and TJ's going to take a shot. This is oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. This is going to work, TJ. I think so. TJ is like, I gave him an, I gave him a lot of chances. TJ absolutely can have a six here. He can have trip fives here. These are very reasonable holdings. And, yeah, you would imagine somebody would have bet a seven or better by now. And, you know, it's not even a, a comfortable spot for someone with trip fives. Well, they're going to call. They're probably going to call. But they're not going to like it at yeah. all. When TJ bets into three players, he's usually going to have you beat. Yeah. He usually is. Not that time. That's what makes poker great. You know what I always say? That's poker. You always say that? All the time, Grant. <laughs> All the time. Don't forget, uh, everyone is playing not just for the money, Grant, but also for that Nitrogen Sports bet. Free $100 Nitrogen Sports yeah. bet. Pretty sweet. I always hear you say, down mm. with the bourgeoisie, mm. long live the proletariat. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I say that. So that, I, I thought that was your thing instead of the other thing. What was the other thing? I don't remember now. Yeah, me either. 
Did you know how they call him Digital Dan? Is that, <laughs> is that one? Sim Ant. All right, Joseph opens up the uh, hijack with King 7 suited. He's getting involved in the wacky hand department. A little bit, a little bit. So the department we're opening up at Macy's over here in Portland, the wacky hand department. Speaking of wacky hands, Brandon Cantu is going to defend. Well, this is why Joseph opened the King the 7 suit. The Jack 4 off. I guess he's uh, got a wide defense range here. I guess so, yeah. Joseph can win this with a bet. You expect him to follow through here a lot. No, but he does not. Maybe he thinks he has enough showdown value with his king high that he doesn't have to. Well, now it's not an issue. Cantu yeah. might start betting there, I would think. He got, did pick up a gut shot. Joseph's going to bet for mostly value, I imagine, but yeah. not get any action. Oh, Joseph has such different moods. Sometimes he looks like he wants to kill someone. Now look at him. Looks like he's the happiest guy in the world. Looks like he just won a... Won a $100 sports bet on nitrogen? Oh, I was going to say some bubble gum, but yeah. You know, that kind of a thing. Liz with a Look reasonable ace here. Look at him. He's cherubic. All right. Uh, Liz going to open it up. Close to the Dan man, digitally. <laughs> I don't know. I that's, don't know how, no, that's how he signs his emails now. The Dan man, comma, digitally. Have you oh, not seen that? Kind of like sincerely? It, kind of, yeah. But and in fairness, after. in fairness, it is a digital signature because it's an email. You're right. It's pretty slick. You can't even you can't even say anything wrong, I guess, because that was right. No, I'm not going to. By the way, um, the answer was drone 67. Your question. Oh, that's who you are auditioning for? Yeah, that's the ant that I'm trying to get. Drone 67. He just says the one thing. Yeah, but that's it's easy. A, it's a sound, but it's... Can you make the noise? Of course I can. Aka! Aka! <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like an ant to me. No, it's drone 67s. All right, uh, can't do open up the sixes on the button. I imagine he will not fold if Marty shoves. No chance. Digital Dan going to... No, nope, thought about it. Marty calls. I think this is a totally reasonable call for yeah, Marty. I would have done the same. Yep. I like not shoving here. Club and nothing else. Not a, not a great flop for sixes, though. Can't do checks it back. Probably going into bluff catching mode here. Well, so good card for both players. Great card for Marty in that he can rep a queen or a nine now, and he has the flush draw. Can't do. Yep. As we see, he's not interested in folding with this hand against this player. He's played it to call the turn. Well, Jack 10 gets there. Not much else. King X of clubs. Marty gives up, it looks like. And uh, that's a good idea. I think Cantu is probably not folding the river. It would have been a tricky spot, though. He wouldn't have loved it, but I think against Marty, he's just going to find a call. That's my guess. You may. Yeah. Anyway, I was saying about uh, Drone 67 and the whole caca thing. Um, it's not just the sound. There's a whole backstory I got for that guy, obviously. Like a huge oh, yeah? sprawl. Like, like if the director, who's not digital, Dan, asks me, you know, what, what's your motivation? Why are you making this sound? I've got answers. Let me just tell you. And it involves career choices. It involves love and, and regret. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Not just love. Now regret. I kind of, now I got to know. Yeah, of course you do. Well, the game's hopefully coming out on iOS in September. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have a little confusion again yeah. with the graphics. Liz definitely opened, and uh, here we go. Marty is playing this one. Did He's he move got in? The ace jack. He just calls the ace wow. jack. Wow! How does he do this that? This is insane that he just called there. He's got less than ten blinds, and he calls. Let's terminator in. This is sort of shocking. I mean, he's lucky because Liz was going to snap call him. A hundred percent. Liz was snap calling. But still, this is. I mean, what's the plan here? We're just going to check fold if we miss, I guess. I guess so. Now, with, with Term if Terminator wasn't in, you could decide to like shove um, a lot of boards with your stack. But hard to do it with the big blind in there too. And Terminator, it's so cheap for these guys to call. You know. Now let's see what happens here. Well, Terminator out flops the world. And he's gonna check. This is going to continue. It's an odd spot. You can continue, and you can also just check. Marty is going to call. Wow. And Terminator, of course, is going to call with his king. Easy call for Terminator. Liz cannot like Marty this. Marty has 425 left. Wow. Wow. Once Terminator calls him, doesn't Marty just have to know he's dead? And now Terminator has a seven to go with his king for an open ender. He's got 95% equity. Marty checks. Terminator decides to bet himself. He moves in. Whoa. That is a huge That's, bet. There's 3,000 there's 3, in the pot. He just moved in for 11, and Liz has him covered. 
I think we might have his stack wrong. It looks like there's just one oh, red okay. chip. So okay. it's more like you moved in for 5k. Well, that makes me feel better. Does Marty have more chips than we think? I don't... That yeah, I think, you know, I think he, yeah, he does. Think, you know, he's got a yellow chip. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you know what? The chips, the chip stacks are right. Yeah. That makes so much more sense. It does make more sense. We'll still, find out why it makes more sense next time because... Oh, hey. That's the last hand. See you next time. See you next week on Poker Time. The sit and go. Well, that was a fun first episode. Notably, Marty is short now, mostly because he played about 95% of hands. It seems like that didn't really work out for him. He's going to have to get something going in the next episode. Yeah, um, also notable is sort of the opposite. Brandon Cantu, who's got probably the most experience of anybody here, almost certainly, deciding to play almost no hands. He hasn't really gotten much to play with, but you saw that didn't stop Marty. Right, so let's see how these two guys play next week. I'm excited. See you then.